realize is they invested this. Less than a year later, the FBI charges CGN with stealing nuclear secrets in the United States. And what they're, what this company, that now remember, Hunter Biden's involved in this, Devin Archer's involved in this. This company is trying to get access to something called the AP-1000 nuclear reactor, which is a small civilian nuclear reactor that's similar to the reactor that we put on our nuclear subs. But it's not just Biden and his family. I mean, look at John Kerry, his adopted son, if I recall properly. And, you know, again, in both instances, you have Biden as vice president, then you have John Kerry as secretary of state negotiating sensitive deals and issues with the Chinese government at the time that all of these deals are benefiting their family, which is, goes back to my original point about proxy. You know, this is corruption by proxy. Yeah, I mean, corruption by proxy is, is, is exactly the charge. And you have these three major deals that are occurring between 2013 and 2016 when all of this is going down. And, and this goes to the heart of the issue. I mean, if we're worried about a PAC contribution from, let's say, an oil company influencing a politician, we should be concerned about major, large private equity deals that are being done with the children of powerful American politicians. And no, that's, I think, the key. that's, I think, the key element, and we need to change those laws. And the great irony in this is it's not just China, because you have a, a whole area devoted to Russia and the influence. You talk specifically about this oligarch, I forget his particular name, Kolomoski, yes. which he is barred entrance into the U.S. because of legal concerns and activities in the Ukraine. I hope Paul Manafort's lawyers are listening. And in 2015, after Biden and Archer joined the board, that all changed. And with the intervention of the U.S. Embassy in Kiev, he was given admission back to the United States. Why, why was he given? What, what did they get in return? Well, that's a great question. So, you know, 